I praise God for the privilege tonight, amen, to be in the Lord's house. And there, there's so many things happening, amen. You want to get your friends out, your brothers out. Remember, we spoke a word a few months ago called fill God's houses, amen. And, and then we told you that some of, your, some of your relatives are getting ready to die. No, when we are prophetic, we can't. We just got a sense, and and that's what that's what has happened to some of you. Are you working on your relatives? Are you working on your relatives? Are you telling them that listen, you're at the risk of death. Whenever time closes, what God does, He makes the message more urgent. And whenever we hear a word from the pulpit, we got to remember. That what is being spoken, God really wanted to be stronger. But if all is spoken, it can cause things to happen that is beyond what you can handle. That's why God says there is stuff that must be spoken which we cannot bear. Amen. Amen. A few months ago, we say fill God's houses. It was an international call so it means that if those who who struggle or refuse to fill god's houses are at the risks are at the risks now we were in the church in westchester and we spoke this word we told them that god has different ways to close the door we spoke that the way that they are trying to destroy the churches and to destroy the Christians, there's going to come a time when you have to register at the door to get into church. You got to swipe your card, so to speak, and swipe your neighbors and I'm gonna come on and swipe your friends in because it's, it's getting dangerous and we got, we got to draw a line. Did we say that? And it was tough to receive. How could you be at church and talking about your clothes in the door? You're supposed to be getting everybody saved. But did you know that God told the apostles uh, from olden time, sometime, don't go to Asia. Don't go here. Don't go north. Don't go. No. You're supposed to go everywhere. Now, nah! as you get to the end of time, you have to ensure that you are in God's will. So the headquarters couldn't handle or couldn't bear everything. So at Westchester Church, we're giving them hard. Come on, come on. Come on, somebody. Amen. So we told them that God will close the church with disaster. Remember, I didn't preach it years over there. I preached. So don't, don't get upset. I'm just giving a report. Come on, somebody. We said, God. Come on, if the pastor don't close it because they want to lock him up in Texas, that big church can close the door. A church always giving charity all the time, always helping out people. I don't keep the doctrine bad. I ain't talking about doctrine right now. But they always helping people, feed the hungry, help the homeless. And this time they had a little caution and they rose up against the pastor. Why you don't open the door? The same one who didn't want to go the week before. Come on. So we spoke in Westchester that if the pastor don't have the nerve to close the door uh, because of certain risks, then God will close it with disaster. We told them that when you have disaster, don't you just don't be spiritual and say, okay, no church not gonna not gonna blow down. And because your church didn't blow down, you think you're more spiritual. You, you, come on, if I ever tell you about God will, in Bible school they teach us three will of God. Permissive, progressive, and, 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 and perfect. Come on. Three little things that they teach us in Bible school. Before I'm over to I'm going to give you 15 different kinds of God's will. They don't understand it because they, they, during those days they were not prophetic. Come on, they were just doing their best analyzing. Come on, somebody. But once you get prophetic and you begin to understand the mind of God, you realize that there are so many different ways. 
of God's will. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We told them God is going to shut the doors of the church with disaster. God know that when the church do, when the church tear down, you, you're not going to backslide. We never saw a church people love God more. All if they lose the church, you don't care. They still meet on that tree unless they weren't saved. Come on, somebody. But sinner want church that time. Sinner want wall and see choir. They want to come in church because they're not serious about God. Come on, somebody. So they want to find a church. They can get saved right where they are. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You ain't coming with me. Coming with me. Come on, somebody. They can get saved right where they are and say, God, forgive me. But they want to find church. So God, break it down that there's no church. Because you, you, you will worship on that tree. You'll worship at the seaside. And God said, I call you all this time. Come on, and you disregard me. No, you want church. There ain't no church. So if the child of God know how to handle no church, come on, somebody, and still serve God with no church. Amen. God will cause there to be no church. And the sinner man realizes his condition. Listen, since we prophesied that God was going to do that, during the the storm in the Caribbean is over 170 churches. Damage or destroyed. Do or luck. You hear what I said? 170 churches. That's a lot. Some community only have three, four churches. Am I right? Come on. Come on. So you got to be very careful. You got to be careful. Don't, don't beat up on a church because. Because it got torn down. God really, God, God know what he's doing. Come on somebody. Our church in, 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 in St. Martin. There's no church no more. There's no church. There's beer land and ground. No church. Come on. But God's will, come on, will be fulfilled. Oh my God, it's tough to take it. You want me to wait until I go back over to your sister? I'll still say what I got to say. Come on. We also told you to watch for your family. We say watch for your family. We told her some are about to die. And some of you don't take it seriously. I said some are about to die. That's what we said. That's what it is. That's what God revealed. Because listen to me. Because of you, they are protected. Come on, somebody. Because of you, your husband is protected. Come on, somebody. And some of them are ungrateful. Come on, they don't know. It's because you love church. And you're at church all the time. Why they're alive. Most people don't know that the reason why New York have not just, have not get melted is because of you. Come on, tell them. Dear them. We know the churches of New York and say, come on, somebody. Dear them. You run out the pastors from New York and see what's happening. If you see the pastors run over here, you better run behind them. Come on, somebody. For New York, finish. Because God, hallelujah, he will cause, glory to God, the rain to fall on the just and then the unjust because of the just. You ain't saying amen, yeah. You see, you, you didn't get the explanation. You just go on and just quote that verse like that. It's not like that. Those in your family who are not saved, who are still alive and still healthy and are strong, is because of you. If you back down and, be, and begin to not live right, they're not covered neither. You have to live right. They always see you as their example. Come on, somebody. And when they fight against you, they can accuse you. Hey, man, I've been in the world. Come on, they may speak against you, but they are admiring you on the side. Hey, man, when we ain't fall for two weeks, they call you more, and you don't even realize. They say, oh, you do, but they're scared, they're scared. Come on, somebody here. They want to stay near. Amen to my sister and my brother. Because we ain't falling every day. And Maria coming. Amen to the East Coast of America. Come on, somebody here. Come on, somebody here. Glory to God. So I say this to tell you. 
Take it seriously. Get your relatives out. Tell them you're at risk. Tell them things have changed. Tell them don't know what's happening in the world today. Have you ever seen so much hurricane and earthquake? Amen. And only a, a few hours behind the other. I remind them, have you ever seen it like that? Tell them a spirit of death is in the ear. And you don't want to die without Christ. Come on, somebody. Tell them, come with me to church and fill the church. Can I tell you something, somebody? Amen. I told my wife today that this church is filled, is filled like five times. If I didn't have so much to do, I'd stay here for six months and you would see, you'll all be ushers outside. You would all be ushers outside. Come on, somebody. For God said, go and compel men to come that my house may be filled. Come on, they, they can't fight against church. Come on, somebody. All the show off, they want to show off. They have lost the battle. Look from them fighting church. Look from them fighting pastor. Look from them say, pastor. Our pastor want his money. Come on, look from them doing that. And they can't bring down the church. You ain't helping me. I got you up on this rock. Come on, somebody. I build my church on the gates of hell. They can fight but they can't prevail they can attack but they can't prevail they can persecute but they can't prevail ah! bring them all out we can't, we can't preach tonight so right quick I'm going to give you 15 type of God's will you never hear in your life. If I hear it today, if I see it in a book, come bring it to me, I'll give you $2,000. The teacher in the Bible college come show me the papers, I'll give you $2,000. Think I'm joking, I'm serious. Glory to God. Glory to God. Ah! They can't know this stuff because they are normal. They don't want to hear from God. They're not into the realms of God. They don't want to follow God fully. They're full with pride. Want to still do my own thing and still under God's cover. Come on, somebody. My God of mercy here. Glory to God. Prayer gets started because come on, somebody here. Glory to God. Right now we're working on one of the best uh, places that God has provided for church right now. Right now we are in the middle of the transaction. Listen to me well before you cheer. Glory to God. We are in it. It's the best deal we ever get from me in New York and we are working on it and we're working on it we work there's nothing better come on somebody but today we discover that there is a glitch and there is a resistance and I say oh what is this but I told the Lord whatever you do is okay if we don't get it come on and we get under a tree come on you young man I remember somebody if you get under a tree for Westchester church it's gonna call Westchester tree church because anything God say oh rapasa she baba said anything you say hallelujah I don't know if when we move in tsunami gonna hit New York I don't wanna waste any money before tsunami you're not you're not you're not you're not you're not coming with me here ah, I say I say God you know my heart you know my emotion you know what I want but only what you say I'm with it. let me die I want to follow Jesus I trust in the Lord somebody help me with all thine heart somebody help me and lean it on they know understanding in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct die. Ah! Nobody didn't understand Haman. Why Jesus had to use a borrowed donkey. Come on, somebody. I'm sneaking into the ceremony here. Come on, somebody. 
they can't understand it. If you are the king of kings, you need to have chariot. Come on, somebody. A king of king chariot. But the king of kings use a borrowed donkey. And it caused the flesh to be confused. But our ways are not God ways. Somebody and say amen. Three kind of will of God. What they're talking about. They are in darkness. They need to open their eyes. A borrowed donkey king. Come on, somebody. Ha, ha, a borrowed donkey king is my savior he's my lord he's my healer he's my blesser he's my savior he's my conquering lion of the tribe of Judah ah! sit down we just want to understand god with our finite mind that's why every time we go to church we sit down like we are the leader and the pastor is the follower let me see if he preach good let me see if he leading good let me see if i like this church almost everybody do that they come each other sit down full, full of pride criticize cynics and critics and heretics Come on, sit in church. I, the will of God to your life. Tell me, apply the will of God. Don't just be working forever. Tell me again, apply the will of God to your life. The first will is God's providential will. Probably write it down. Providence, providence. You can't change it. Come on, you can't change God's providence. It's it gonna happen no matter what you do. If you have to die for it to happen, it's gonna happen. Don't fight God's providential will. Try to find out what is God's providential will. Come on, somebody. And tonight, hey, I'm gonna give you 15 God will, but I ain't gonna give you no scripture. You gotta serve for the scripture yourself. God, God, the Lord told me it's easy. Yeah, the Lord told me it's easy. It's easy. Now look for it in the Bible. God's providential will. That's number one. Hey. Number two, ha, glory to God, is pro, her, no, it's on his tongue. This is, is permeated will. Ooh. Let me explain his permeated will. His permeated will is like his order. You can't stop it. Come on, as long as you're a good person, the Lord. He said, mm, he said, the steps of good men. Come on, somebody. Are ordered by the Lord. In other words, God will permeate his will in your life. Come on, E, come on. When, when, when he causes his will to get into your life, your foot move where he wanted to move. Even though your mind don't want to go there, but you find your foot, amen, in God's house tonight. Even though you wanted to go somewhere, it is permeated will. Somebody say, apply. God's will to your life. Be careful of you walk out of church too early. Come on, somebody. Be careful. Amen. If you leave church when the shrooms have left, that woman who got shot. My God of mercy. Can I can I can I can I really that woman who got shot in the churchyard? Amen. The Sunday gone. She got shot because she first left church. Come on, somebody. Come on. She alone run out of church. Maybe she gone to her job. I can't talk about that. But she alone run out of church. Amen. So the wicked saw her by herself. And when you're by yourself, oh my God, I feel like preaching here. You are expecting pose you're like a magnet for the wicked i don't even like to see women by themselves i don't like women live by themselves walk by themselves you know go early in the morning by themselves two in the morning by themselves driving up back street by themselves come on somebody glory to god glory to god don't run to leave too quick if you can stay with the crowd have you ever been driving on the highway Come on, somebody. And it's 55 miles per hour. Come on, somebody. If you're going to go 65, don't go by yourself. Come on, you're going to get picked.
kicked off by the cop but if the others are going 62 or 63 you're not talking to me you're all behaving so innocent like you stay in the 55 come on somebody glory to god you stay with the crowd you stay with the crowd of cars so they can't pick you out come on somebody so god permeated will god order your step amen love church sometime you stay home you're gonna have fuss with your husband and your wife fuss with your children come on somebody but when you are led by the permeated will of god i feel like preaching this thing glory to god god cover you because you apply the will of god in your life don't go off on your own because you're intelligent and because you're smart and because you know different alternatives you can travel different route amen whichever ask god which route should i drive or not or east or south or west today because i want hallelujah your will to permeate Someone say, apply God's will. Woo. Jesus. I can only read them all. I can only read them all. Number three is prophetic will. You don't hear this stuff. It's prophetic. Is there a prophecy on this thing? It's not intelligence all the time. And academics all the time and analysis all the time come on look on all them analyzers look on all them skillful theologians so that the world was going to end saturday gone you could not beat them in theology you can't match them when they give you their bibliology and their pneumatology come on and their eschatology come on little we come on somebody but what we saw the day came come on somebody and they were wrong come on somebody so you want more than calculation come on come on you want more than common sense you ain't saying amen with me come on somebody you want more than analysis say amen with me you want god's prophetic will is there a prophetic word on this thing come on somebody sometime ask your leader is there a prophetic word on my life about 20 percent in the church just doing their own thing and don't care you send them an assignment come on somebody they abandon the assignment without official information come on full of themselves full of pride and get a thrill from doing it i ain't gonna say nothing i ain't gonna talk to nobody i'm gonna do my own thing and don't know they are in trouble because it's not man's will somebody help me here it's the will of God you got to be careful or you handle the will of God for God as a, a prophetic do you know if it's a prophecy why you were sent there and you begin to misbehave because you can just because you can this little baby saw me last week sunday she a little baby there and she run leave her care take a walk and run and came to me i was shocked i was shocked i said wow she's been led by the lord come on somebody you have to have the will of god Turn to neighbors and apply God's way to your life. If we send you to Brooklyn and it's take long to get there, you can talk about it. But don't be prideful. Don't be insultive to your church. Come on, have respect for those over you. I say, I want to go, but it's tough. Now sit down and don't go. Because you can, they can't move your foot. I decide where I go. I'm my own man. I'm an adult. I'm not a child. I go where I want to go. 
I prophesy to you, you're going to fail. I prophesy to you, you're going to fail. Someone say, apply God's will to your life. You can leave your son, but do it decently. Four, provisional will. It may be not be where you're going, but it's on the way. So humble yourself and take it. Come on, somebody. You may not be a bishop yet. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. But you get the job to clean the toilets. Come on, somebody. And before you were just dusting off the, the furniture. Come on. And they say, clean the toilet. Provisional will. Hallelujah. What if I tell you, there's a lady right in here. Amen. She caught my attention because she loved to clean the toilets. I ain't going to tell you no more. But she's right here today. She's right here tonight. I can't tell you where she is. High up. I'm not talking about my wife right now. <laughs> Come on. If you look at your neighbor, God will tell you who because your, your, your folks got revelation. Yeah, she loved to please. I said, that woman is humble. And I see God raise her. Come on. But it's provisional. Don't fuss about it. Come on. You, you will never get less than what God anointed you for. Did you, you hear what I said, woman of God? Did you hear what I said? Yeah, come on, yeah, yeah. no matter what the pastor fight he can't fight beyond what God has anointed you for come on, so the time is coming we're going to skip three places you're not saying amen come on, come on, they're going to skip they put you back, take it come on somebody here yeah. glory to God for his provision who say amen glory to God, glory to God hear this one, number five preferential, Woo. Never hear this thing, God's preferential will. Come on, somebody. God may leave you in that place, but he prefer if you are taking the other place. Oh, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. You don't understand God. Amen. God don't want to hurt your feelings. Amen. He, want, he don't want to hurt the feelings of your spouse. Glory to God. So he, he give you something, but he, he prefer if you would take the other. He prefer to start with the Jews. Come on, somebody. But, mm, glory, but they didn't take it, so he gave it to the Gentiles. All as one of final God's preferred will. Amen. If this man, God's preferred will as my husband don't say god's will alone is this god god will give you the number two but he preferred you are choosing his number one but the number one may need little help and number two have money <laughs> but you want money and there's nothing wrong with that so god said okay but if you want if you said god give me your preferred Ooh, you give it that man gonna wash your foot. Come on, come on, cut your toenails. What, what's wrong with you? Not, you can't do that for your spouse. Come on, somebody here. Glory to God here. Amen. Amen. Is a prefer final God preferred will. Oh my God, I'm getting into trouble here. You didn't know it was so deep. Final God. Come on. Can, 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 I, can I tell you something? I won't tell you something heavy you never hear in church. Sometimes God will cause a leader to have charge over your will. God give him charge over your will. And all you need to do is to go and ask him, what will you have me to do? Come on, come on. What do you want me to do? And it can't, nothing can go wrong with you. If he wrong, God fix him. Come on, somebody. And I say, you know, I prefer you go here, even though you want here. I prefer you go here. And it must work for you. We always told the people, told the people, can I let go that one? I say, oh my God. I say, I love to sit in the front. Come on. And every woman who sit in the front who wasn't married, get married. God of mercy. Come on. You don't want it real. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again, Reverend. I'm going to say it again. We told them, say, love front seat. Love front seat. Come on. And every woman, listen, who sat in the front, who were on my, everyone are married. Everyone. Come on. <laughs> How many of us love evidence? 
You was at the front for about five years. Am I right? You! <laughs> what kind of church is this? What kind of crazy church is it? God don't miss. Come on, it's God preferential will. We spoke it. You come in the front. Amen. God gonna come upon you. Amen. My like God of mercy. God of mercy. Uh, even one, two months ago. <laughs> Even on my right, two months ago, I don't see her back anymore because it worked out. <laughs> oh, glory to God. My God of mercy. Come on, come on. Someone say, apply God's will to your life. Number six. Quickly, preemptive. Write down, preemptive. Write it down. God's preemptive will. Oh, God. My God. God may, may lead you into something to stop something. And it just for a while. My God of mercy. Number seven, permissive will. Pre preemptive means God may say, go learn a language. Come on, somebody. Go learn about this culture. Hang around this person for a while. Glory to God. It is preemptive for what's coming. Hey. Whoa. Glory to God. Woo. I want to spend time on him, but I can't. Number seven is permissive will. Write it down. Number eight is proactive will. P-R-O-A-C-T-I-V-E. -E. Number nine is progressive will. I assume we finish, don't worry. Number ten is perfect will. Glory to God. Number eleven is positional will. Number 12 is potential will. I have, I have to talk about that. It's potential will. The attainment is God's will to be still. To be still and do nothing. Some of you would save your marriage if you learn this kind of will. Be still and do nothing. Say nothing. Don't move to the right, nor to the left. Back or forward, down or up. Just be still. Hallelujah. My God, I got into trouble right there. For those of us who have to talk all the time. They don't like this one. Come on, somebody. Where am I? What number was I? Oh, come on. Yeah. Thirteen now. Thirteen. I just got twelve. Potential. Come on. Uh, Thirteen now. What is one? Postpone will. Ooh, take a lesser pose for now. Promissory will. Like Caleb got from uh, from Joshua. Come on, what number is that? 14. And finally, for today, promotional will. Stand up, everybody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Stand up, everybody. Nobody leave. If you're here and you're not saved, you need God's will in your life. It's dangerous to be living off your will. 13 are dead in Puerto Rico. 13 are dead in Puerto Rico. More than 50 are dead in the Caribbean. More than a hundred are dead in Texas. Others are dead in the Keys and dead in Florida. Yes, they did not seek. Hallelujah. They did not apply God's will to their life. Hallelujah. God says in Proverbs 16 and verse 3, Commit thy works to the Lord. Watch me now. And God will establish your thoughts. Hallelujah. You got to commit it to God if you're here tonight and you're not saved. Commit your life to him. He will protect you. He will cover you. We call Puerto Rico one of our partner ministries in Puerto Rico. We have been calling them since the calamities that we came here. But today we got a breakthrough and we call them. And they said there is some damage to the church. There is some damage but everybody is alive. Everybody is well. Come on, somebody. Not even an injury. It took us long to contact our branch church uh, in, 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 in St. Martin. Then we got a breakthrough. The church is torn down to the ground. But everybody is alive. Everybody is safe. Come on, somebody. 
you want to apply in a time like this you want to apply God's will in your life he's the one who made you he knows your thoughts he knows what what you're planning to do let him take over your life let him take the Bible says in Jeremiah 10 and verse 23 the way of man is not in himself come my friend come 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 my friend come right here is not in himself to the wreck his step glory to God glory to God glory to God yes it's not in you it's not in your ability Proverbs 20 verse 24 say man's goings are of the Lord Bishop come and lead him for me how can a man understand his own way tell your neighbor apply God's will to your life Amen. Hallelujah. Just take the hands off for now. Put the hands on. Yeah. come right here